do 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 do. And that coral looks very familiar, and so does that rock, huh? Hey, uh, do you guys know where the uh, the big rock? Uh, sorry, don't worry about that. Keep going, that's fine. Okay, I am officially lost. I have no idea where I am. Could really do with a map right now. There might not be a map of all the world's coral reefs yet, but that's about to change. Marine biologist Emma is working on a project to map all the world's reefs, 14% of which are in Australia. So where do you start with such a massive job? We're mapping all the world's reefs using satellites. So the satellites are taking photographs of all of the world's reefs every day and we're using the photographs to make big maps. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm jumping into the reefs at different parts to take a look to see what's in the photograph and match it up to uh, what's actually on the reef, whether it's coral or algae or sand or rocks. It's a big job that relies on a wide range of tech, including computers that can think for themselves. And so we're using um, clever computers that we can train. Uh, we tell it like uh, what different parts of the image that we know is coral or algae. And then from that, it learns to recognize the images and then it can map the reefs by itself. Coral reefs only comprise 1% of the world's surface, but they contain 25% of the world's marine species. So it goes without saying, they're super important. But what exactly is coral anyway? Is it a plant? An animal? A rock? It's all three of them really, so it's a... It's an animal because it's made, made from animals. The corals themselves are animals, but they also have tiny, tiny algae inside of them so they can photosynthesize. So technically they're plants at the same time as being animals. And they also build these stony skeletons and the skeletons that they build are actually rock. So coral reefs are a mix of animals and rock and algae, seaweed. But reefs aren't just important to marine life, they're extremely valuable to us. Half a billion people worldwide rely on reefs for their food and for their jobs. And despite how important reefs are to us, we've only mapped around a quarter of the world's reefs in any amount of detail. With a deeper knowledge of the world's reefs, Emma and her mapping team can help us protect these incredibly precious resources and make life better for the marine life who depend on their prosperity. Yeah, I think I'm lost, but thankfully I have a map and let's just pull this up. Yep, oh, let's have a look. Yep, that's where, oh, that's where I went wrong. Got to turn left at that second bed of coral, not right. Uh, so silly. Thanks, Coral Reef Map. Where would I be without you? Probably even more lost. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here, there's a shark coming.